Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48 and welcome back to Valheim. Today we are going to go mine up a skull. We've got to mine into the giblets of the skull and get some, well, I'm calling it brain, but this game calls it, what, soft tissue or something like that? Um, I did go off camera after last episode and I found a skull right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to FOBML3. We're going to come all the way down here. I also found another infected mine. So we're going to come down here. We're going to go to the infected mine, set up a portal. Uh, once we're done with that, we're going to sleep through the night. I want to have it all day to mine the skull. All right, it should be a lot of fun. Before we do that, though, let's get into some food issues. Um, People are saying once you have uh, the rabbits, or not the rabbits, sorry, the chickens. By the way, why can't I, um, you know, domesticate the rabbits? Make them, you know, multiply. All right, don't rabbits multiply pretty quickly, right? Isn't that like a, a saying or something? There must be some kind of saying there. But anyway, I would really love to be able to domesticate rabbits, but I can't. But what people tell me is once you get the chickens going, you don't need serpent stew anymore. That's not really true, unless I'm missing something. I'm going to tell you why. Because um, you use these together, right? I use two hit point foods and one stamina food. So I use the honey glazed chicken, and I use the salads. Those are one of each. And then I need something else. I mean, I guess the lox meat pie isn't that bad, but the serpent stew is still better. So I feel like you still want serpent stew even once you've got the honey glazed chicken. And some other people are telling me that the best stamina food is the blood pudding, but that's not true either. Uh, the blood pudding stamina is 75 and the salad is 80. Yeah, so there you go. So that's my best. Now, the blood pudding might have been better than the bread, but here's the thing. Like going out and farming leeches, just ugh, I don't really love doing it. I do kill them when I come across them, but I don't really farm them much. Plus, I needed a lot of that stuff for... Uh, I think the hit point meat or whatever. So I needed the blood bags for that. So it is what it is. I think that brings you guys up to speed on everything. And let's go ahead and go to sleep. And we're going to go out. We're going to try and mine up a brain. See how it goes. I'm going to bring my fire resist this time. And hopefully I don't get... In I mean, honestly, I'll just avoid everybody if I can. I don't really have any inclination to fight anything. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, if I do, I, you know, might have to. We'll see. I'd be surprised if I didn't, to be honest. Look at that. Look at those hit points. Yeah, boy. Uh, so let's come over here and let's grab the fire resist. We'll grab, like, a two. Probably not going to need more than two. You probably won't even need two. Honestly, one should be all I need. If I'm fighting that many galls, then <laughs> I'm doing something wrong. So, oh, God, the rain. I hope it's not raining in the freaking mistlands. Alright, so where is... What is that? ML3? FOB ML3? Yes. FOB ML3. Let's do it. Let's go check it out. By the way, I'm finding roots everywhere. So when it's time to get more sap, it really shouldn't be that much of a problem. Okay. Ugh, of course of course, it's raining here. Alright, well, it is what it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to come all the way down here and stay out of the mistlands as much as possible. And then we'll go for the... Um, infested mine. This is the second troll that I've had fight me. Fight me, bro. Now, I don't think there's any use for the troll, the troll hide, but you do need his head to make, like, some kind of special fishing bait. Um, I kind of want to keep the hide, though, just in case. Maybe there's something I don't know about, or it's something in the future. I, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past them for me to, like, throw out all the troll hide, and then, like, in another, in a new update, oh, troll hide's used for this important thing, you know? And it's not like trolls are easy to find. So, I'm going to put this stuff away and kind of run through here. Um, okay. People are asking why I'm not mining these swords and stuff. Uh, because I'm not sure. Oh, I, yeah, I forgot about this. I did find this. Oh. Okay, hold on. Uh, so, this is another place you can get brains. The thing is, if you want to get brains here, you got to fight these guys. And I don't really want to fight them, to be honest. Although, I could drag enemies to them. You know what? If I come across a gall, I will drag the gall to these guys. I, isn't that isn't that a gall in the, that I'm hearing, or is that the storm? I think that's the storm. All right, so we got to come through here. Um, yeah, getting iron. So you can get iron from this. Um, it's just it's really risky to be in this biome. I'd rather just go to the crypts where I know I don't have to worry about anything. I don't have. To, oh, there we go. I don't have to use good food or anything. I can just um, you know what? Let's just do this. I could just go to the crypts with my crappy food and watch a video and have no issues. Rather than sit here and 
Death Town, USA. Alright, there we go. Let's get some stamina. And... Boom! Alright. Hit, hit, hit him in the innards. Drop off this thing right here. Come on. Come on. Get some stamina back. Right, is he coming or what? There he is. Okay. I don't know what happened there. There we go. Did it run away? Maybe I could bring him to the dwarves and just have him decimate the dwarves. That'd be hilarious. I don't know how the dwarves are going to... Well, the dwarves do have crossbows and shit, so... Yeah, let's bring him to the dwarves and see what happens. If he kills them, then I could just mine, mine out the brain right there. Come on. Dickhead. Oh, there... Oh, God. <laughs> All right, then. Dwarves, help! Help me, there's a gall on the loose. All right. Now we're just going to bring him over here and avoid everything. All right. Oh, stop shooting at me. Shoot the dwarves. Dwarves, help! All right, here we go. This should be pretty fun. All right, so shit is getting bad. Did they kill him already? Wow. Dude, they killed him quick. Oh, no, he's still there. I think. Can't really tell what's going on at this point. All right, let's just hide and let them do their thing. Honestly, I I'm kind of hope he kills the dwarves. I probably shouldn't have... Damn it. All right, well, whatever. At least he's dead. Did he get this? Can I pick this up? No, he didn't. Uh, what's up here? What did I just pick up? Oh, copper? Interesting. Oh, I did get some soft tissue. Okay. Just one piece, though. Yeah, if I start mining this, they're going to get pissed and start attacking me. Uh, next time I see a gall, I'll just drag him over here. You know, we should mark this. What is this called? It's like, um... I don't know. Um... Dwarf mine. Yeah, that sounds good. Alright. Let's go over there and see if we can get the loot from him getting killed. Uh, we don't have any room, do we? Okay, so what do we... Oh, we, did, we got a decent amount of soft tissue. That's not the cop. That's not the copper I'm used to seeing. Right, I'm going to throw the copper away. I'm going to throw this away. Throw that away. I guess a rabbit got killed in there, too. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, am I full again? Oh, crap, I am. Oh, boy. See, I don't want to get rid of any of this stuff. All right. Well, maybe I won't have to. We'll see. We have to get up here to that mine and then set up a uh, a portal, and then we'll go back and throw stuff away. I think what I'm going to do with this sword is I'm going to chop out the bottom half and see if the whole thing falls. That might be a good way to get iron. It's just, like I said, being in this biome is like death, and it might not be the best way to get iron, but I could just go to crypts and watch a video and not have to use any good food and stuff like that, so. Alright. Here we go. Careful. Careful. Alright. Beautiful. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to teleport home and drop everything off and uh, come back and then we will head towards the brain. I might actually sleep through the night though before I come back. As a matter of fact, I definitely will. Went home, slept the night away, and now we're going to head over towards the skull. Alright, let's do this. Um, yeah, I forget how I got over there. Like, there's a very... Oh. <laughs> Another place right here? Okay. Uh, dwarf mine. I'll just leave it as dwarf mine. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to put portals there. If I decide to put a portal there, I'll start numbering them. Yeah, there's a way to, like, get around the Mistlands. If you go certain directions, you can avoid um, a lot of the bigger mountains. You might still have to go through some smaller mountains, but I tend to go where the stuff is the lowest. Also, I tend to find most important things uh, on the ground, like the skulls and everything. Um, so, I yeah. This is, look at how easy this is to, tra to traverse. If you get in fights, they're going to be a lot better down here. All that good stuff. Okay, so let's go around here. We gotta go up there. Now let's go around this way. And... 
Don't want to be taking unnecessary damage, obviously. And this skull should be right here somewhere. There it is. Petrified bone. Check it out. Oh boy, we got. It. Oh, that's not good that there's ticks. Although I don't hear a gall, but all right, let's take care of some ticks. Smashy, smashy. Nope. Come on. Even if they're on me, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> that's freaking awesome, dude. They're like, oh, something definitely over there. Something big. So let's clear out the area before we start mining. Uh, is that two of them, or...? No, it's just one. Okay. Alright, let's do it, bro. It's hammer time! Oh boy, that didn't really do anything. Okay, never mind. It's not hammer time. Now, because I have... Bone mass, I could put myself right here and just swing. Because, you know, you're, you're pretty much invincible with bone mass. Although, there's no point in not blocking when I don't have any stamina. And then you just wait for your stamina to come back. And, I mean, I could try and get around behind him, but... Tends to use more stamina. Like, I'll bet you I can do more damage this way. <laughs> just because I keep using all my stamina, I only get... Even if I do get around behind him and get his weak spot... You know, you get a couple swings, and that's it. I'll get more swings on him this way. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, no more stamina. He's almost dead, though. Well, he's, he is not a happy camper. Nope. Now he's really not a happy camper. Beautiful. Okay. That looks to be about everything. I got some iron there, too. Which I will probably throw out. I know I need iron, but... I want all of this stuff more. Alright, so check it out. This this thing's a, a giant skull. If I can get on top of it, that'd be awesome. Oh, boy. Get off me. Get off me, bro. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and mine this to get into the brain. Alright, we're gonna get uh, the black marble from this, which is cool, but more we need is the brain. We need the, we need the soft tissue. And if you do mine all the brain, you don't feel like you've gotten enough, or even if you do think you've gotten enough. Uh, I've heard that a lot of the brain is under the... is like under the ground. There we go. Look at that. Soft, soft tissue. Love it. And... do we have enough room for it? Uh, did I pick any? Yeah, it's right there. Um, let me get rid of this. Just because I want to make sure I have enough room for all the soft tissue. Now, people said that the soft tissue, or the, um, the sap is what runs the, uh, the, what is it called? I forget, the Yummer or whatever. No, Yummer is the thing you buy off the trader. The Edder. Yeah, the Edder. Um, yeah, people say that the, um, the, people are telling me that the, the sap is the thing that runs the Edder. But I think the sap is the thing that gets refined. Refined. This is the fuel, I believe. Okay. Uh, twenty-seven. Is that a lot? Doesn't sound like a lot. All right. Uh, so let's dig down a little bit and see what else we can find. There we go. So there's some more of it, and I will get as much of this stuff as I possibly can. So most of the skull was underground, and you can tell when you're at the end because you'll see the skull down here. All the brains are going to be within the skull. Which is freaking cool. Now we just have to figure out a way to get out of here. Oh, can we just jump out? Oh, so close. I guess I could break my way out. Oh, I got sliding all the way down now. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here. I'm just digging out the side. I could not get through. You gotta be careful with your pick, man. If your pick breaks down there, you could be in a world of hurt. Alright, I'm going to assume that skull is done. Uh, we're going to make our way back to IM3. And then I'm going to go back to base and we are going to uh, go ahead and refine uh, Eder. Eater. It really bothers me. Like, it shouldn't bother me. I'll just call it whatever I want. Like, it's pretty funny, but <laughs> sometimes I try and, like, you know, I want to call it the right thing. And then you guys tell me. And then I'll read it and I'll be like, oh, cool. So that's how you say it. And then I completely. Oh, God. All right. This isn't good. Oh, my God. All right. 
All right, hold on, hold on. I'm trapped in here, aren't I? All right, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh God! All right, let's get the. F I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I just want to get out of here. That is like the worst situation I could have been in. <laughs> like for real. Ooh, and he messed me up, dude. He's breaking through my block and shit. That is nuts. Gotta watch out for those. Uh, was that a one star or two star? I don't, I don't even. I don't even remember. I think I'm blocking it out of my. <laughs> I'm blocking it out of my brain. Oh my goodness, dwarves! I gotta find something to kill you. Wait, is he talking to me? Oh, something's in here. Something's here. Hold on. What? The oh, okay. We got another uh, gull. All right. Let's see if he kills him. Or does he? Goodbye for now. I'm not sure what these guys are talking about. Are they trying to attack me? It kind of looks like it. No, I don't know what was. I don't know what just happened, honestly. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Ow! Stupid spikes. Who put those spikes there? Kind of want to cut this down. Let's see what happens. Kind of curious. So ideally, this thing would fall into a big pile of iron. Which would be pretty cool. Am I? Oh, I don't have any room for anything. It doesn't matter. Actually, it will disappear. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, I do have some room. Let's throw out some wood. Alright, I'm carrying too much. Alright, hold up. Oh, okay, I see why I'm carrying too much. Alright, yeah, you attack those guys. I'm gonna take this off. Put my belt on. I know it's gonna be harder to see stuff, but... It's alright. Come on, kill these dwarves, dude. Kill the dwarves! I don't think they're gonna die. Yeah, they're all healing and shit. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, I'm hoping he doesn't follow me. He's not going to kill the dwarves, but I don't want him to follow me. He's kind of in my way as well. I really want to care. Now, well, that wasn't really a, a lot of iron. I'm going to stick with my I'm going to do the crypts iron thing. Because that really wasn't a lot of iron. I mean, you know, 12 iron isn't bad, but I think, he'd, I think he would probably do better on the crypts. Still can't see anything, but that's all right. Oh, I'm still going to the wrong place. <laughs> running through the mist without my uh, little uh, wisp. Running through the running through the mist without my wisp. Not a good idea. So before I go mess with the editor, I'm going to check on the chickens. All right. So all the eggs have hatched, which is awesome. I will probably slaughter a bunch of them before I make more. Uh, but I'm going to wait for them all to grow up first. Okay, so let's come over here. I do have the, uh, yeah, I've got the soft tissue on me. So let's go and drop it in the top of this thing. This thing has max, um, sap. And up here, uh, there we go. Alright, cool. Now, I think this thing will destroy your buildings around it, because at, when this stuff spits out... It, like, shoots off sparks and everything, so I do have to keep an eye on that. It's not exactly... There's not exactly a lot of room over here, unfortunately, but... You know, it is what it is. We'll just have to see what, what happens when it spits out. I'm not going to sit there and watch it either. Because to hell with that. Let's come over and drop off all our goodies here. Our mislanged chest. Uh, yep, got a lot of black marble. That's cool. I'm starting to put out uh, the seeker meat in here. Because I'm getting so much seeker meat. I wish it was kind of used for a little bit more. Alright, good there. We'll bring the sap with us. Iron can go outside. I think that thing just spit something out. So let's go see what's going on over here. Uh, actually, just put this in here really quick. And let's see what we got. Oh, it didn't spit anything out. Oh, it did. So there's something right there. See, it like shoots little sparks. And I think it could damage stuff. Well, there we go. Mechanical spring. Some kind of table. And that's it. When do I get to make the armor? <laughs> that's, that's what I'm wondering. When do I get to make the armor? So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take some time here and refine everything I have. And then once everything is refined, I'm going to take this thing apart. And I'm going to put down another bench. And, you know, we'll see. I mean, 
I guess there's like magic and stuff you can do as well. So we'll just have to see where it goes. I'm gonna sleep through the night though, and I'm gonna go out and hit up the um the sap extractor and move it if need be. We are gonna need ten of the mistlands wood and ten marble to be able to make the crafting bench. Uh, we have just enough, which is awesome. And plenty of marble, which is even more awesome. And I'm letting the the editor extractor refinery, whatever it's called, uh, I'm letting it go through everything that I already put in there. Uh, because I don't want to waste anything. So there we go. That's, um, oh no. Okay. So it's not one for one. All right. So the stuff I put in the top is way more important than the stuff I put in here. The sap is way easier to get. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. Okay. As you can see, it's uh, messing up the blocks around. I've been repairing these blocks. But yeah, it's messing up all the blocks around here. Which is kind of funny. Um, so what's next? So we need to make the Black Forge. And I'll just put it right here for now. There's the new armor. Oh, beautiful. Crafting station needs a roof. Of course it does. It's a crafting station cage. Get your head out of your ass. <laughs> look at all this new stuff. Ooh, carapace shield? Oh my god, look at all those weapons. I don't know what to make. Oh my goodness. Where am I going to put this thing? I don't need room for it. I guess I'll put it upstairs. And we'll put it right... Uh, right here. This seems pretty cool. Yeah, that's a dope place for it. Alright, see, we need to make all these things. Alright, so we're gonna need... Oh, the rabbits. Damn rabbits. And there's the iron. Wow, we can make... I think we can make some... Well, the carapace. I don't think we have a ton of carapace. Um, and you know what? I don't think this stuff is worth making unless you can upgrade it. Because it's got the same armor value as the upgraded stuff. So, if I can't upgrade it, it's probably not worth making. Making. Let's see the other stuff we can make. Carapace arrows. All right. Very nice. What the hell is this? Uh, it might not be a hammer, but Thor himself would still approve this weapon. Uh, is this spear like a pole arm or something? It's got lightning damage on it, and that doesn't take carapace. It does take a lot of refined ed eater, though. Eater. Um, not even giants could weather. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do some research, man. I don't want to make the wrong things. Um, bone bolt, carapace bolt, iron bolt, spine snap, use this bow. Using this bow is backbreaking work, but it is so worth it. So is the bow the next? See, I don't know what to make. I don't know what to make. I'm going to do some research. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe I'll hold off making anything for a couple videos, and you guys can let me know what you think. There's a crossbow. There's the carapace helmet. It's a little cheaper, so I might want to make that first. Uh, stab once for those who betrayed you and twice for those you... Oh, okay. Looks like a sickle and a knife. Um, lanterns. Okay. Those are I wonder what you have to put in there to keep this lantern going, though. Carapace shield. Okay, so my shield is at... Oh, uh, where is it? 116 block armor. This starts at 96. Um, so is this a tower shield? I'm guessing that's a tower shield. And there's the buckler. Demolisher. Oh, man. That looks freaking dope. Carapace she uh, spear. Crom. Wow. Oh, it's a two-hander. And Mistwalker. Oh, man, this is cool. I'm going to have to really look into this stuff. Um, yeah, the carapace is stuff. The thing is, I don't know what it takes to upgrade it either. Um, where do I make the, where do I make those, um, those springs or something? I want to start making traps for the rabbits. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think if you make it anywhere, it'd be down here, right? Let's see if there's anything new in here. I'm not really seeing anything. I could just be missing. I'm kind of looking through quickly because I don't want to be here all day. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything. All right, I'll have to, I'll have to look into it. There's like these, uh, traps I can make, but I need like these, uh, these screws to do it. And the last thing you need uh, the black cores for is the Galder table. And I believe that is for magic, if I had to guess. And that's all it is, is a guess. Uh, let's see how much carapace we have. Oh, dude! I didn't know we have so much carapace! For some reason, I thought we had like 20. We've got like freaking almost 90. I mean, I have been killing a lot of those guys. 
So that's cool. Uh, how much edder do we have? We, we got more than four. Where did I put it? I put the edder somewhere. I don't remember. I think I put it over here in my drop chests. So let's see how much of this we have. Yeah, you know what? At first I was like, oh, these stupid infested mines. I got to do them like a million times and I hate that. But now that I'm thinking more about it. Shit, I'm still encumbered. This stuff's heavy as hell. Oh, dude, 150? All right, I'll, I'll work on getting that around, you know, in between videos. But, um, yeah, my original my original idea with the infested mines, ugh, like, I'm barely getting any cores. I'm going to have to go through these places a million times. But that's okay, because I'm going to need so much carapace. And, the, you know, what do you guys think about the infested mines? I think they might be the best dungeons this game has ever done. Right? Because you got the dungeons in the Black Forest, which are, you know, the burial chambers are kind of, you know, whatever. They are what they are. Uh, by the way, I played this game about a year or two before it actually got big, and those things were always in the game. Um, if you look up KJ48 Valheim, you might be able to find my first video that I did a year or two before this game even blew up. Um, so, And those burial chambers were in the game as well. Anyway, after the burial chambers, you have the crypts, which are, you know, pretty good too. Uh, then in the mountains, you have the um, ice caves, which start to get much better. The level design's getting better. Um, there's no... There's no kind of dungeons in planes, which is kind of weird. Um, and then, yeah, I think these dungeons are the best dungeons in the game. Um, they're actually pretty interesting. Very very well done, I would say. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you never enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Take it easy.